way to tell this story other than to just tell it straight because it's so disturbing on so many uh, levels here. Uh, U.S. military records show that the Air Force dumped the remains of at least 274 American soldiers in a Virginia landfill. And that number is far greater than the military had previously acknowledged before stopping this secretive practice three years ago. Jennifer Griffin is live at the Pentagon with more on this. You've just taken that image of the dump and you it, got so many things go through your mind, Jennifer. What, what was the Air Force doing with the remains of our troops? Well, Jenna, this is the type of story that should rock this building and should cause heads to roll at the Air Force. I remember when Secretary Gates found out three years ago that the uh, Dover mortuary was taking the cremated remains of uh, service members and cremating them in a pet cemetery mortuary. That, it appears, was just the tip of the iceberg. What has been revealed in an investigation by the Washington Post is that the Air Force, which runs uh, Dover mortuary, was essentially taking taking the remains of 274 military personnel, as you mentioned, mentioned the parts of those, uh, those who had been killed between 2004 and 2008, there were um, more than 1,700 uh, fragments that were cremated and sent to this King George landfill in Virginia, essentially a trash dump. Uh, the revelations came about after a four-year investigation by the widow of Sergeant Scott Smith. He was in a bomb disposal unit, had been killed in July. July 2006, and she kept asking questions, kept asking questions of the Air Force where the remains of her husband had gone. Eventually, she got the answer, and when she got the answer, she shared it with the Washington Post, and that's how we know about this story. This is unbelievable. You mentioned that this is a type of story that should rock the building that you're in. Is it? Are we getting that type of reaction from the Pentagon? Well, the Air Force has been slow to react. Uh, the defense secretary spokesman who I spoke to this morning, George Little, says that the secretary is aware of the story and he is supporting right now the uh, a practice that began in 2008, which is to uh, bury the cremated remains at sea. Um, but the Air Force says that there were so many pieces coming back from er the war in Iraq and Afghan wars in Iraq and Afghanistan that they could not DNA match all of those fragments. And what I know from my experience when I covered suicide bombings in Israel, Israel had a very, very quick system to match all the DNA of anybody who was killed in a suicide bomb blast so that they could be given a proper Jewish burial within 24 hours. So the fact that the Air Force says that there wasn't a, a technique uh, to match those fragments just is not true from my experience. Jenna. This is a really interesting context. A very upsetting story. We'll continue to keep our viewers up to date on.